Welcome to Wildlife Wanderings. I'm Andrew Wegener. I love to get out in the outdoors into nature to see what we can find. Whether it's in a local park, down here at the beach, or in a nature reserve, or even overseas. It's great to see what we can find that God's made for us, and we're going to see what we can find down here today at the reef. Let's go and have a look. Now, when you think about worms, you think of those long pink things you get in your garden sometimes when you're digging up. Here on the coastal platform out here in the rocks and the rock pools, there's a a little sea creature called a flatworm. And I'll see if we can get it. Well, I'll point it out to you first. Here we go. Just moving along here slowly on this rock. Looks like a bit of slime on the move. And what we'll do, we'll gently move her off from here. And I'll get her onto my finger if I can. Here we go. There we are. Look at that. Looks quite revolting, doesn't it, really, to some people. But again, it's got no bone structure at all, just moves along slowly. Got its head up at the moment, trying to get a grip on my thumb. It's simply called a flatworm, just slime that's on the move. Now, what we'll try to do, if we roll it over, you'll see underneath the body, oh, there you are, there's the, the white main part of its body there on the side. It's just going to try to curl itself back. Yeah, one of those little marine type creatures that we don't always get to see. Well, most people don't really bother to look at, but another example of one of those creatures that if we look carefully and search in some of these areas, it's amazing what's there. Blends in really well. Little flatworm. Now you might not think this is very exciting, but underneath this rock, we have two species of sponge, sea sponge. And the sea sponge is a simple form of animal life that, again, our creator God made for us to enjoy. But it's just a matter of looking carefully, you'll notice there's a species here, another one up here. And the sponge just sucks in water with a little pores all over its body, these little holes. It's getting bits of debris that's flowing through the rock pools each day. And it's just filtering through the things it wants to eat, the things it doesn't want to eat, it expels it out. And you'll get larger sea sponge washed up on the beach as well, which we'll find later on if we're doing our beach combing. That's just an example of a live living sponge underneath here living underneath this rock. And while you're here, have a look at this. Really tiny little crab. Just have to try to catch it. Ah, where'd you go? Oh, I got it. I think. Yep. Here we are. Beautiful. I'll just sit on top of the sponge, give you an idea of size. Look at that. I'm not sure the name of this species, but it's quite attractive in its own way. 